Hi everyone, welcome to today's video where I'm gonna show you how to create a awesome intro animation in Framer. It looks like this. A while back I was scrolling Twitter and I saw this one from Elias and I didn't quite know how to create it. So I took it upon myself to actually learn how to do it by experimenting a lot and uh, I think I found it. So it's not completely the same, but let's see if we can recreate it. Here we are in Framer, just a blank page. So let's start by going to Layers, Home. Here is our desktop. Let's make it into, let's make it a stack. Then let's add a frame. Let's make it full width. And let's say 650. Let's start by removing the background color. Call this sec section. Let's make it a stack. Now let's create another frame. This will be our container or the mask object. Let's say fill and sorry, fill. Let's make some padding on this. So it looks decent. There you go. Good. This is our, let's call it mask. Now let's add a image again. all the way like this let's choose an image from unsplash i used this one before but let's use something else let's say let's call this image let's duplicate it remove the image and let's make it black and 0.2 opacity so we have some overlay, so it's easier to see the text. Let's add a text. I have this one. Remove the body, make sure it's black, white, 56. Something like this. And like this. Let's make sure it's not inside the overlay. For good measure, let's just lock these by highlighting both, right clicking and pressing lock. Let's place this, duplicate it. Let's add a subtitle to this. Like so let's make it regular and 16. Chuck it in here as well. Let's add these two to a stack as well. Let's right click on these, add stack. Let's make sure it's fit content, so it gets both. Left align it, distribute, center. Good. Let's make sure it's in the right location. Let's say 50-50. This looks good. And we can always play around with the, the focal point and everything afterwards. So now we have the basic setup. Let's un unlock these. Let's take the section, right click, create component. Let's call this intro section. We need two states. We need the intro state and we need the final state, which is this one. So let's zoom out a bit. Go all the way here. Press variant. Now we have this one. Let's call this end. And the first one call intro Good. so now we're gonna create the initial step and how it's going to look afterwards so let's start by taking the text i should call this text by the way let's take the text let's place it like so make it capacity zero let's reverse the same thing over on the end step like this and capacity one. So now we have something of face from here to here. 
pretty basic. Let's do the same with the overlay from the intro. Like so, and like so. This is the end state. Let's put it back to 2.2. And take the mask and let's add a radius to it. And now while we're here, let's take the mask and let's make the background black because I would like to do something with the image as well. Let's fade that one in as well, from zero to 100. Good. So now we basically have this. Let's make the mask fixed. And let's say 20. Let's go back to this one and say 1152, I think it was. And now let's connect them. So let's take this, take the little lightning, drag it over to the end, press appear. And then when you highlight this, this one, click on the style transition. Let's go into ease and let's do something. Let's make it slow and smooth. So say two seconds with a 0.5 delays. So it animates when the page has gotten a chance to load. Let's create some sort of a smooth transition, something like this. You can see here. So it comes in with a little bit of speed and then eases out in toward the end. So far, so good. But before we go, I need to make sure of one thing. Right now, the image is also scaling. So we gotta make sure that it stays the same width. So let's say 1152. Otherwise, we get the scaling in the animation as well, which is not good. And while we're here, let's put it in the center so it doesn't move either. Next step is to add the appear animation on the intro section itself on the side. Press a plus button here on effects, appear, scale in. Let's play opacity has to be one. Let's scale it from 2.7, for instance, or you can be 2.5, depends on you. Let's put the on ease and let's say 1.5, just make it slow. And we need to delay it 2.5 so it doesn't fire at the same time as the other thing. Let's create a little more, little more easing like this. So while we're previewing the transition itself, let's wait on the delay and put that on in the end. Now it needs to be a little bit quicker in the beginning, so maybe have to slow but the wrong way yeah this something like this and let's put the delay on back for two and a half seconds because the animation itself is 1.5 and we have it some loading time as well good I think that was it so let's publish it and then let's check it out Looks good. Let's see it again. That's nice. It's a bit slow when you once you've seen it a few times, but you can always speed it up and play around with the timing. But here is the basic gist of it. You could also create this using Framer Motion, which I did first time around. If you want a tutorial on how to use Framer Motion for this instead of using the appear animations, let me know in the comments below. I've added a remix link in the description below so you can try it out if you want. Thank you so much for watching.